Good day, everyone. My name is Nuri Shanubi. Intelligence. Intelligence is the ability to know how to do a specific task. Intelligence comes in different forms, namely infinite intelligence, which is the intelligence of a god, the knowledge of the past, future, and present, which also gives the creation to the intelligence of human beings, our intelligence, human intelligence, which is the limited knowledge of the past and the present, which also gave creation later to artificial intelligence. Now the question here is whether one day artificial intelligence will grow to claim infinite intelligence. Once again, good day everyone. My name is Nure Shanubi from Nigeria Tulip International Colleges, and I'm here to talk about the revolution era of AI, specifically the fears of AI. By now, there's no deny that AI is coming. In fact, it's almost here, but nobody knows when specifically. Dates have been guessed or said anyhow, but nobody knows when. Even AI experts and developers are as much as confused as any of us here. In fact, if you ask them three years ago, specifically in 2020, they will tell you that AI is going to be inevitable. It's going to be fine and it's decades away. Ask them last year, they will tell you that it is inevitable and it's going to be fine. Ask them now, it's going to be inevitable. That's what specifically they are going to say. Meaning that every year their opinions and suggestions change. Meaning that they don't know what is going to happen to us. But I can assure every one of us here is that AI is coming and it's coming very fast. In fact, a study made by Seven Global Solutions in, by 2025, 95% of customers' interaction and services are going to be powered up by AI. Which takes me to my next point, unemployment. Unemployment is going to be a major factor that is going to affect every single one of us. AI is going to be first focusing on repeated action jobs, like clerks, factory workers, receptionists, and things like that, which require repeated actions every day. They will level up the game and take it a step ahead to be focusing on coding, whether web coding, programming, any of the sector. They will take the step another step forward they will, and will be focusing on creativity, with, which are like sectors that require creativity like ads and writings. But at this, the only factors or sectors that are going to be affected by air, they are just the most affected sectors. Every sector that is going to be affected in a way or another, even the sector which has employers, like MDs and HODs and CEOs. In fact, it actually started in a Polish company earlier of this year. They have acquired Mecca, the first AI CEO of a Polish company called Dictador. It's a Polish company that sells drink, or specifically rum, and they have achieved their first achievement earlier of this year when they sold the most expensive bottle of rum. For people that don't know what rum is, rum is an alcoholic drink that has 40 to 80 percent of alcohol inside. So as we can all see, we can see where we are going now. AI is changing the world little by little. Another factor that is going to affect our environment is the, is the tra when training AI, the, the deposition of the depletion of carbon dioxide in our society has been increasing. In fact, in 2020, they released the biggest amount of carbon dioxide in history by releasing 32 million tons of carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a, is a straight and direct effect factor on our climate change, which takes me to my next point, climate change. Climate change is when the temperature in specific places change due to the heating up or the change of the temperature. In fact, we have been seeing things like that throughout the world, starting from America and Canada, where they have been having false bonds, to the, to the snowing of Egypt of the last year. And there are other many things that we are going to see very soon in the future if the, the, if the deposit of carbon dioxide yearly is not maintained. Those are the two main factors affecting our society right now. They are the two main factors affecting our environment, but they are, the only, they are not the only factors that are affecting us.
there are other factors like ethical factors. In fact, and one of the ethical factors are data biases. Data biases is a, a data biases are prejudices or errors made by AI that affect the outcome or output. In other words, there are mistakes that are made by AI that affect the outcome or the result given to us. For example, earlier of this year, a husky dog was mistaken for a wolf. For you can even think for different reasons, maybe because of the ear, the, the nose, the eyes, and anything else. But the AI had a different opinion. They said that it's because of the snow. And when researchers tried to know why, or tried to research to find out the reason, they found out that most of the pictures used to train the AI on wolves had AI in the background. So the AI like, automatically took any wolf or any dog that has white snow background is a wolf. So you can see how this kind of stereotyping, according to people's face, or according to people, how people look like, or the pictures used to train AI can affect. So how can you trust a system like that? that is going to be used in judgment, in legislation, and in security purposes. They can just stereotype wrongly and mess everything up, mess things that we have been trying to fix for years, to mess the equality of human beings. The call and the cause of that we have been fighting for since can be messed up in less than a few years. For example, stereotyping like saying that Arabs are terrorists or Mexicans are dog dealers or drug traffickers and many other stereotypes. So we can see how bad it is. But another reason, that w I, the, another factor that is affecting us is that when AI experts found out about this problem, they were as shocked and as, as confused as any of us here. Meaning that they did not expect it or they did not predict it. And that's due to the fact that AI lack explainability and transparency due to different reasons, but mainly because a study was made by Harvard that the more complicated an AI is, the more accurate it actually is. So the more complicated you make an AI, the more accurate you make it. Now, let me, let me show you guys something. For starters, this is not Tom Cruise. I know many of us think it's Tom Cruise because of the resemblance there, but it's actually a deep fake video made by a TikToker who, was, who made it to acquire followers and likes. So videos like this one and many other deep, deep fake videos are affecting our society, which take me to the next factor, social manipulation and privacy preaching. Privacy preaching is the state or the act of using our microphones in our separate electronics to be able to listen to our private conversations. Why social manipulation is the state of using those private conversations to be able to bring out topics on your social media apps or the AI itself so that to bring more awareness and to make you more addicted to it. So that you like it more, thinking that it knows what you want or showing you what you actually want or you want to hear. So, social manipulation right now is not used much. But when it comes to something like intelligence of like CIA or FBI, which are gathering much information about every single one of us by using something like privacy preaching, or AI that break every single rule of copyright when they use this privacy preaching to be able to check your work and be able to co copy it and train themselves using it. Many ads, many artists, Many artists have been, have been like, have fallen in that black side of, using, of AI is coming them or AI is using their works, their hard work to be able to make something for them which is going to be free. So how can you trust AI with your children with, of the upcoming if they cannot respect copyrights and privacy? How can you trust them that from now on a child can ask AI on anything and to give him a direct answer, no matter what it, the question is. 
And if you tell me that there's something like age restriction, I'll tell you that you're just wasting your time. Because age restriction can be faked from even children up to the age of 8 and 10. So talking out of personal experience, age restriction is a waste of time. So how do you feel? How do you feel safe that your children will grow up with an AI that will be telling them answers depending on one and two, or what they have? Leaving all the cultures, all the ethics, everything that you have been teaching them. How can you trust an AI like that to take, to, for your child to take advice from? And if you say that we should teach cultures to the AI, how many cultures do we have on Earth that you want to teach AI? It's not even possible. When it even comes to languages, it's not all languages AI is going to know. Only the famous ones. So, which takes me to my next and final point. The reason of all these factors and effects are one major reason, which is unhealthy competition in the business. Unhealthy competition is a poorly designed game that push the players or the users, whether people, government, or companies, to take decisions that affect our society in the long run. Meaning, for example, this, the companies that use CFC, use CFC to make fridges, ACs, and ETC without noticing the depletion or the effect of it on our ozone layer. But when it comes to the people using, doing the company work, if you ask the managers or the people behind it, they will tell you that they don't actually want to do it, but they still fall all under the same statement. If I don't do it, someone else will. And AI is not an exception. It also falls under this one, this specific statement. If I don't rush AI, I'll be the first to bring it out and take the glory. Someone else will. I will be the person known for creating it. So that's the problem I have right now. Unhealthy challenges. Unhealthy competition. People are trying to reach to their target without noticing the effect of it, without getting the bigger picture of it. And celebrities and AI developers and AI experts have been warning us for ages about the, about the disadvantages and effects of rushing AI. Imagine put, taking a, an AI like ChatGPT, putting it in an Android or robot. It can change and revolutionize the world. But it can also be in a bad or good way. We can either move on, or we can actually witness a Terminator or a Matrix life action style. Or any other movie. The list goes on with the amount of movies that warned us about AI. And it actually happened. An autonomous weapon made by government a few years ago was used to identify targets and kill them. But the device mis misfunctioned or went bad and friendly fired one of the soldiers or the government workers. And when they tried to dismantle it and stop it, the AI connected itself to the satellite and searched on how to stop them or how to copy itself or like duplicate itself. Meaning that we could have witnessed this evolution we're talking about right now years ago. But thank God we were just talking. So now, if you don't actually get the bigger picture of it, by now, I would like to tell you that you are blind, that you don't get it yet, that AI should be feared. Because in the long run, we are going to see many disadvantages of AI and fears. Our topic today is actually Ignite. But I'm not here to ignite fear or spread fear among us. I'm actually here to ignite a call for action, to ignite hope, to ignite a question, to raise a suggestion, to say that we need to have a plan. A famous saying comes around when it says, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Which means that if we don't have a plan right now, they were just practically planning to fail. But I also came here to suggest my own opinion by saying that mm, the best way to avoid all of this is by bringing a body to supervise every AI activities, whether done by the developers, users, or anybody that has to do with AI. A body that can interfere anywhere, anytime, when necessary. A body like UN, like WH organization. So I will leave you today with a quote made by Elon Musk saying that AI, the development of AI or the promoting of AI 
is going to summon a demon or a devil. It's either going to help all of us and make the world better or it's going to destroy all of us. Thank you so much.